I clutch in, the RPM comes up, I clutch off, I look ahead, get the car to slide. How's it going everybody? My name's Tyler and we're gonna teach you how to initiate a drift using a clutch kick. So the basics of the clutch kick, the way it works is gonna be like this. We wanna be going about the right speed for the corner or maybe even a little bit too slow. This technique generates a lot of wheel spin and it makes the car pick up speed pretty quickly. So if I come into this corner, you know, where I would have to be braking and I go for a clutch kick, I'm just gonna get wheel spin on the rear and probably understeer on the front and the car is just gonna go straight on and we're not actually gonna get a drift. So we wanna come in, you know, roughly the right speed so that we can make that happen. We wanna select the correct gear. For this corner, we're gonna go second gear. I'm gonna be on the gas and I'm just gonna press in that clutch staying on the gas so that when I release that clutch, I have a big RPM differential between the engine and the transmission. Releasing that clutch is gonna be like my trigger. So I don't wanna do it too soon or too late. That's gonna be when it actually goes. So off that clutch very fast, very hard, get the rear tires to shock and start to spin. So we'll come in hot and give it a shot on this one. Second gear. We're gonna roll in on the outside of our corner. I'm gonna be about 25 for this one. I'm gonna stay on the gas. I clutch in, the RPMs rise. I come off that clutch, and now we just balance the drift with a little counter steer and smooth throttle application, right? And now when we exit that drift, I wanna make sure that my, I'm looking far ahead down that road so that I know when I wanna start getting that wheel straight and when I want to come off the gas. If I just jump off that gas really fast with steering still in, the car is now going to immediately shoot the other direction. So I want to be very smooth with that release on the throttle so that I can have a smooth exit on that drift. And again, just making sure you start to get that wheel straightened as well. It kind of all goes together, right? Slowly straightening that wheel, breathe off the gas so that the car can settle and it doesn't just start to ping pong you around. So again, I'm staying on the outside of the corner, roughly 25 for this one. We set up wide, I stay on the gas, I clutch in, I look where I wanna go on the gas, I clutch off, get the car sideways, and just light, gentle throttle modulation to get the car carrying that drift through the corner. We'll do one more. Again, looking ahead is key for drifting. I don't wanna just focus on one thing. I have to be thinking about what the next thing down the road is. Where do I really wanna place this car to get the most out of my drift? The longer I can be in this sl the slide with the car sideways as, as sideways possible, the better. So we'll stay out nice and wide. I clutch in, come off that clutch, get our slide going. Keep in mind, right, this technique is pretty hard on your car. You're very rough with the transmission and the clutch on this one, so a good place to try it is to come to the school, right? Try it in our cars, which are specially prepared for this. That way, when you go to try it in your own car, you don't just burn through a clutch, you know, in a couple minutes and then, you know, end up with the expensive problem down the road. That just about wraps it up for us today. Hopefully you guys saw a little bit of how we initiate those drifts. If you're interested at all in trying it for yourself on one of our cars, you don't have to worry anything about breaking your own car, learning on your own stuff, try it in our stuff, and then you can kind of go do it on your own and just come on by, check it out. You'll have a great time, I promise.